What is up guys, Asura here back with another video. Now it's been a year since Sony have released their mid-tier range active noise cancelling headphones. About a month ago I was fortunate enough to get these sent out so I could make a review video for you guys. So let's get straight into it. So guys, this is the Sony XB900Ns which are essentially a pair of wireless noise cancelling headphones. First things first, they were delivered in a good high quality packaging which encloses of course the headphones itself, a USB type C cable, an aux cable, the unit information and last but not least, a velvet lined carrying pouch. The headphones seem to be built with high grade aluminium and a textured plastic which gives them a premium feel. It really reassures you that these are high end headphones as Sony have excelled the build quality and design. Although it's on the slightly heavy and bulky side, the headset is definitely promising when it comes to audio quality and noise cancelling. Having tested these for the past month, I can say that the noise cancelling is exceptional, especially for this price range. The headphones itself feature a USB Type-C port, a power button, an LED indicator as well as a button which can be mapped to either an ANC function, Google or Alexa function through their mobile app. All the physical buttons are located on the left side of the headset while the right side features a touch controlled panel which recognises specific gestures to either control the volume or skip tracks. Something that triggered me was the length of the USB Type-C cable. It was so short it was almost unusable, however a simple swap with my everyday anchor cable did the job. Having a Type-C port was really convenient as I can use the same cable to charge my phone and headphones. The build quality was further enhanced with their decision to use thick leather padding for extra comfort. Let me tell you why this was a great decision. The use of the thick leather padding allowed me to use the headphones over long periods of time with absolutely no discomfort. The leather cushioning was used on the top and both ear pads of the headset and although they looked very chunky, it created just the right level of comfort in order to listen to music and watch movies. From my experience, the headphones maintain its good flexibility from previous generation models. It does have a good amount of flex which allows for good durability and comfort. The headphones can be adjusted with a swivel mechanism which allows it to swivel back and forth so that you can place them down on a surface. For ease of portability, they can also be folded which is really convenient and then you can place them in a carrying pouch ready for you to take in your daily backpack. Sony have also released their own app which works together with their new lineup of headsets. With the app, you're able to check your headset battery as well as adjust the sound performance of your headphones. For example, you can choose from a variety of preset sound controls like bass boost or treble boost. The app also allows you to remap the custom button to activate either Alexa or Google Voice Assistant. Personally, I keep it as an ANC function which means I can switch between the three modes noise cancelling, ambient noise and with ambient noise off. With that said guys, we've come to the end of another review. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on these headphones and if you're going to be buying them or not. Also let me know which product I should review or unbox in my next video. If you guys haven't noticed already, you might have already seen my new setup which has been teased throughout this video. That's because I do in fact have a new PC as well as a setup in general powering this YouTube channel enabling me to make high quality content. If you guys would like an updated setup video, let me know in the comments section. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know with a like rating, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in my next one.